Hey, Brian here. I uh, just wanted to let uh, people know a few things of what's been happening over the last uh, few days. Uh, first of all, I've put up a book review on Robert Pardo on how to uh, do not only strategy development but also take care of all the um, all the uh, functionality that goes on behind the scenes of a of a of a profitable strategy, be it. Um, if you are optimizing it correctly, if you're fitting it correctly, um, and you are um, doing a whole number of other things. So check out that review. I go in chapter by chapter on what uh, that uh, book entails, and obviously I'll be using that as a roadmap for all my uh, future strategies that I intend to um, implement. So, so far I've done uh, two strategies I've looked at. Uh, I've done a car for my premium members on quantlabs.net. I've given uh, a couple of videos on showing how to um, open up uh, a trading strategy within the uh, open source trading platform. Um, I also go through our code walkthrough of each of the moving average and the pairs trading uh, strategies that are, come with which are out of the box when you download the software. Remember, all there's all is open source. You get everything for free. Um, all the source code is, is included with it, so you get all that um, with the software. Um, uh, so not only that, but uh, today I've just posted uh, a live um, recording of myself going through an. Uh, a, code walkthrough of debugging the trading strategy um, visually through Visual Studio. Um, this is an important step for those uh, um, are, 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 who may get access to code um, for strategies. It's really important to, to have a really good debugger as part of your process so you can understand and, and watch the, the strategy uh, work in and in, in, in how it accesses and how it manipulates the data as data comes in. So I show that with the um, with the uh, moving average. I was hoping to do it with the pairs trading, but uh, there's just too many issues with that. So I'm just focused on the moving average. But it's good enough to show how to do it. Um, the other important thing is, is that with MATLAB, it also has its own debugger as well. And these are obviously important. Uh, debugger or you know programmer environments, which are kind of crucial to really understanding things like algorithms or uh, trading strategies. In my case, and uh, really helps you get a, a, a real big leg up with how strategies work. Um, a good example of where this type of capability, and I, and I, I need to confirm this, is. Um, R is an example where it doesn't have a visual debugger where you can set a breakpoint. Uh, you can watch uh, values of your, of your variables as they uh, are interacted with the code um, and stuff like that, uh, which is, to me, it's kind of important, but I don't think R has a visual debugger. Um, I tried to verify that if the new uh, current R Studio, the IDE for R has that, it doesn't. So. Uh, it's one big drawback with um, R as we speak. I mean, I'm hoping I'm wrong on it, but I have posted a um, a, uh, a request for if there are any any visual debuggers out there for R. Um, the only one I saw was on Eclipse, um, and nobody really uses Eclipse for R development. I mean, maybe NetBeans, but not really. A lot of people use uh, R. I'm uh, sorry, R Studio. But anyways, we we don't we don't worry about R anyways. So those are uh, important steps. Um, I've also have gone through um, one of the uh, PDFs manuals for the MATLAB Econometrics uh, toolbox. Um, from there, I put up some notes on a blueprint for um, what, how I'm going to attack and understand and showcase strategies like GARCH. Arima, Armax, um, there is a blurb on co-integration, so I may bring that into play. I also know somebody who's working on a uh, pairs trading uh, strategy for MATLAB as well. So there's some options there for the co-integration pairs trading. Um, so that's being attacked. Now also I'm planning to finish off two other, uh, maybe three other PDFs. 
Uh, one of them is for statistical. Um, there's a lot of statistics that obviously you, you work within MATLAB. And the other thing is, is that um, I'm wanting to understand the, um, the financial uh, toolbox as well. There's some functions that you don't really need to focus on because some of them are out of, out of step with what I'm trying to work with in terms of market forecasting, at least in this point in time. may uh, revisit some other functions within that toolbox. Another critical toolbox that is, is proving to be very important that I'm hoping I can figure out how to um, bridge MATLAB and C using native MATLAB M function scripts. Um, I have proven with the Simulink you can generate code with that, but I'm just looking for some easy ways to, to integrate MATLAB with the, the connection between my trade uh, my .NET trading platform with um, MATLAB can be somewhat fast. It's not crucial because I'm using this connection just to monitor, um, mo use models just to monitor data. Um, I'm not actually executing trades based off of these models. These are more used for things like model selection. Um, what it is, is let's say, Garch, um uh, qualify to be used for this type of time series. This is the power of MATLAB because I can quickly um, have MATLAB calculate a time series and be able to determine what kind of model should be applied to that type of data. Um, but it's not a, a crucial, speed is not a crucial thing. And even if it was or it wasn't, the other nice thing using this open source trading platform is I'm able to uh, let's say if I was to use a, a commercial product like uh, multi-charge trade station, I'm always tied back to one license, so I can only have one instance of that trading platform run. Now, because you know I'm obviously using open source, I can have as many um, components of that trading platform run. So I can have five, ten, fifty, and they can all queue up into um, the MATLAB sessions if it's going to be through. The MATLAB Builder NE, or am I going to use something that I haven't really looked at yet called um, and use MATLAB, the application comm server is another option that I'm kind of toying with right now just based upon speed. But there is obviously some major drawbacks of MATLAB being um, a single threaded application. So this is just all for testing and, 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 and development. So again, speed is not critical. Uh, when it comes to production, um, uh, obviously, I'll have to worry about uh, code generation and using natively generated code, let's say in C, from something like a simulant, and then implement that into uh, my training platform. So those are the options I'm looking at, but the end goal, what I'm looking for right now, is looking for tra uh, trading strategies which um, are optimal, that, that show a lot of potential for profit. Right now, I've only looked at two. Um, we've uh, collectively, as a group, there's about three or four of us now that have looked at two other strategies that we've kind of like invalidated because they just don't have the potential to, to be really potentially profitable um, for the operation that I want to be part of. So, right now, that's our focus, but um, I'm seeing a lot of promise with. Uh, uh, strategies like or model types like Garch. Uh, a rem I played with before, but Garch, Garch looks really good. There's a lot of um, data that you can get out of a Garch mod and, 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 and some of the things I, I may showcase um, from the world of MATLAB and just walk you through or again this is only going to be available for my members for quantlabs.net members is with Garch you can step by step by step see some very powerful ways to, to forecast um, ma um, market conditions and forecast from that. And it can be as far out as 30, 30 days. Um, so there's some of the examples that I've seen with that. Now, here's the thing. If you're using a trade station, if you're using a multi-charts, MetaTrader, I have verified and looked for any types of models that are available uh, using Garch. None of them exist. Um, a lot of people don't seem to know what Garch is, really. But it's, it's a quite an interesting way of um, forecasting the markets, and it's a, it's a very popular way, especially coming from uh, MATLAB. And the nice things about Garch can be used for both equities and Forex. So 
that's a really powerful thing and that's my next uh, world that I'm in, intending to conquer. So again, um, being with Garch and, and doing this, what I'm doing, I'll be probably the only guy out there doing this and publicly showing people how to use something like a Garch, being able to, um, you know, use something totally different that a lot, a lot of people know about um, for for market forecasting and especially for Forex. It's quite, quite, quite powerful. And um, I'm trying to find a way to bridge that with a MATLAB in an efficient way without having to go through the simulant coding, um, you know, building a simulant model from scratch and going through that. But we'll see. Um, but again, I'm just right now going to be focusing after my moving average demo with, with uh, TradeLink. I'll be uh, looking at, again, uh, MATLAB uh, NE to see if there's any unknown ways to uh, bridge the MATLAB and MATLAB raw M scripts in an efficient means um, without having to regenerate it through uh, like a cogeneration process. So um, that's what's going on. Um, but right now, I'll be setting up a, a date for this demo of, of, of how to debug a strategy from this open source trading platform as well as doing it with something like a, move, a simple moving average, which is out of box when you download it. So there's some really cool stuff coming down the lines. Um, yeah, and then we'll be focusing on more and more strategies as time passes. And the way I'm going, I'm, I'm actually uh, moving along a lot faster than I anticipated. Um, so once I move into the world of, of MATLAB, that's where I hope to really, um, really expedite the process so I can get through understanding all the models. And, and I've done this in the past with R, um, but now apply it with um, MATLAB and then see which ones show the profit potential and then implement, let's say, the top three and then put them into, uh, into the, the, uh, open trading the open source trading platform and then focus on those and then run them through their trading um, through their trading um, paper trading mode and then at some point uh, we will go live with obviously real live cash once we open an account and fund an account so that's what's happening over the short term and some with the long term uh, we're getting a lot closer folks to be able to get into a real production environment um, and uh, yeah, and uh, hopefully uh, with everything coming together finally in the next uh, little bit, couple of weeks, couple of months, who knows, um, but it, it's coming together. So I'm kind of excited to uh, let you know about that. Talk to you later.